Well, I recently purchased a SolarCon Mac 2000 vertical antenna, and so I thought I'd give you a good up and close uh, look at this thing. When it comes, it's it's uh, white fiberglass. I decided to paint it with some Krylon paint. Very well built antenna. The uh, nice little yellow end caps on the, on the end of the uh, elements there, and um, great stainless steel fittings here so here we go we're gonna put our mask together and uh, I've got two pieces of pipe I slide one over the other and that'll give some extra strength to that mast as it sticks up above the roof so we've got to persuade it a little bit there tap it on over the other pipe and I measured this thing out and it's about 14 feet long. My concern is that it's it's going to be pretty heavy and I'm not sure that the mounting bracket I have up on the eaves will handle that weight. So I'm going to haul it up the ladder there and stick it on there and see what I think. I may have to just use the lower section because we really don't have much uh, attaching that big heavy pipe to the house. Eventually I want to get just uh, a 30 foot piece that will reach all the way to the ground. Then I can put that thing up as high as I need to. Here's the uh, mount that goes uh, for the ground plane kit which I purchased separately. And this, uh, this bracket here only goes on there one way they tell you in the instructions that uh, the little ears there should be pointing up which is uh, obvious when you put the rods on there you can you can see how the thing works the uh, antenna is a 5 8 wave antenna at least that's what they advertise I uh, read somewhere that somebody took one of these things apart and they measured each of the uh, sections and discover that it's actually uh, instead of a 0.625 or 5 8 uh, wavelength it's actually uh, 0.640 and that's one of the best kept secrets about uh, CB and 10 meter antennas they used to have ones called a Super Penetrator 500 it was a 0.64 and uh, they say that this thing you get uh, 0.4 dB more gain uh, from this uh, antenna than you would a, a 5 8 wave. So that's the secret of the uh, IMAX 2000. Here we are, we're uh, putting these sections together. And they give you a lock washer for each section. Screw them together, that's all there is to it. Then there's a tuning ring down at the bottom of the antenna that you can make adjustments after you get your coax hooked up there and so on. Attaching the mast to the antennas is uh, very slick. It, uh, this thing comes mounted right to this fiberglass section here so uh, you just slide that mast in there and tighten up the U-bolts. Couldn't be easier. And there it is. You can see that bracket for the ground plane kit. I like to kind of stick these in there and get a feel for what it's going to be like when I when I actually get the antenna up on the roof and I go to install these rods. So that's what we've got. Just a lock washer and a nut to put on each one. This is the hole I've drilled for uh, my static grounding of the mask. And I've got to drill it on through that inner pipe that I, I slid down in there. A little bit of dielectric grease is a good idea. Put a little dab on that center conductor. and Makes for a nice connection there.
and you can see that little rubber boot that's uh, on the coax right there under my hand. I, uh, that thing came with a Cushcraft antenna one time that I bought and I've used that little boot on all kinds of antennas. I've recycled it and it will snug that up just a little bit. Now we slide the boot up. Makes for a nice clean waterproof connection there. So there we go. Well there's my helper. He likes these projects. Now I've got the antenna standing up there and as I went up the ladder and kind of lifted it the mast is really too heavy for this bracket. So I wound up taking off the uh, the long section from the inside of the pipe and just, just use the short pipe for now.